to the Jersey Shore, ringing yeah. the opening bell at the New York Stock Exchange yesterday. Why do we show you that? Because uh, joining Chris. us now on the set, Republican Governor of New Jersey, Mr. Chris Christie. Also yes. joining us from Capitol Hill, Republican Congressman from Arizona, John Shattuck. Gentlemen, welcome to you both. I've got to take you to task, uh, yeah, Chris. I'm You're ready. Vicious attack on the cats of the Jersey Shore on it. Sunday on ABC. I yeah. loved Could it. you, sir? Well, listen, you saw them ringing the bell at the New York Stock Exchange. That's where they belong. <laughs> They're New Yorkers. Let them ring the bell at the New York Stock Exchange and stay away from New Jersey. And I can tell you, growing up in New Jersey, they're not quite the reflection of what they're we're looking for it. out of the state. Please, and you know, they, they parachute these on. people in here and then try to, like, we don't have enough problems in New Jersey. <laughs> I need Snooki in the situation. I, I got enough problems. I love well, it. Well, let's, let's talk about some of those problems. You become a uh, become a conservative hero for your uh, budget slashing. He's governor some Wrecking people, Ball. They're covering, calling you Governor Wrecking Ball, the human bulldozer. Oh, my God. Um, I don't know. You, you know, the $11 billion budget deficit you guys have there. How are you handling that and all the heat you're taking from uh, some circles on it? Well, we've handled it. I mean, we passed the budget two days early on June 28th, closed an $11 billion budget gap without any new taxes or tax increases on the people of New Jersey. And there were a lot of hard cuts and difficult things to do in there. But the fact of the matter is we're trying to treat people like adults. They know that we're in awful shape. And they know that no one else is around anymore to pay for the problems that won't hurt them. And so we need to go at these problems head on. That's what I'm doing. And what about the, the argument that this is a time where we need more spending? We've heard that from a lot of people. We need more stimulus right now to get the economy moving. It's wrong. I mean, it's just dead wrong. I mean, more spending with what? The federal government continue to print more and more money and, and leaving that debt for our kids. Uh, and eventually it's going to just grind our economy down even further. So we listen, it's, it would be nice to say we should have more spending. Everybody loves to spend money. But the fact is we have to start doing the hard things to dig ourselves out of this hole. Well, I'm, we'll talk about this a little more coming up. I want to get the congressman in here, but especially about some of those who are feeling maybe you're cutting them a little too much sure. and teachers feeling the squeeze. We're going to play something for you coming up. But okay. first, let's bring in Congressman John Shadig, our friend to the show for quite some time now. And uh, Shadig, let's first of all talk about uh, your state, uh, the Justice Department suing Arizona over its immigration law. Um, where do you stand on this? Do you think this is a mistake by the administration? First, I've got to say I'm a great fan of the governor's, and I think he had it just right. Uh, the government is wasting money, and I think this lawsuit is a fantastic example of a waste of money. Maybe this lawsuit won't, I mean, maybe this law will not work out to solve the problems that Arizonans wanted to solve, but what's the point of the lawsuit? Why don't we let the law go into effect, which will happen tomorrow, absent an injunction by the judge, and then why don't we see if there are problems, and then, in fact, the state might be willing to fix those problems. But instead, we need to file a lawsuit and pay all those lawyers. Uh, I think the governor's right. Uh, government well, wastes money, uh, and it's time to cut it back. With all due respect, maybe they're trying to prevent some uh, problems that they think the law will create in Arizona. Now, granted, if you live in Arizona, you feel that there is a problem with immigration, unlike other places in the country, which could never even conceptualize. Oh, the I don't issue. know. At the, the same the, time, the, do yes. you want people being profiled? I mean, do you really want this happening in your state? I absolutely do not want people profiled. That's what the law says. That uh, I'm not. I don't personally believe the law is going to solve our problems, and neither do the no. sheriffs who wanted it. But, but. Uh, the, the idea of allowing the law to go into effect and seeing if the sheriffs can handle or the police can handle these new responsibilities without abusing people is a way to just save a little bit of money instead of throwing all this money at Justice Department lawyers uh, to litigate this issue in advance of when it goes into effect. The, the governor's right. You've got to set priorities. Government's got to set priorities. Unless what we really need is a full employment act for lawyers. All right. want to talk to you about Charlie Rangel, but while we're on the topic of money and saving money and just how hard it is, Christy, do we have this uh, soundbite between Governor Christie and the teacher? Okay, I want to play this for you um, because this is exactly what it comes down to, some of the hard decisions that you have to make if you're going to actually cut spending and make tough decisions. And you're one of the people who've come on this set and said, here's what has to go, and it's not going to be pretty. But this is about freezing salaries and health care benefits for teachers in your state who are already feeling very short-changed. Take a look. Compensating me for my education, and you're not compensating me for my experience. That's well, you know what? Then you don't have to do it. I mean, you know, the simple fact of the matter is. Teachers, teachers do the simple, it the simple fact of the matter is this. 
teachers do it because they love it. Well, that's, that's the good. only well, then, reason I do it. Well, and and you and listen, and teachers go into it knowing what the pay scale that's is. Right. Okay, welcome to your world. Yeah, it's fine. All right, listen, this teacher complaining. They're getting four or five percent salary increases a year in a zero percent inflation world. They get free health benefits from the day they're hired for their entire family until the day they die. They believe they're entitled to this shelter from the recession when the people who are paying for that shelter are the people who have been laid off, who have lost their homes, had their hours cut back, and all we ask them to do is freeze their salary for one year and pay one and a half percent of their salary health benefits for the average teacher in New Jersey you're talking about seven hundred and fifty dollars a year for full family health coverage now you know I don't think that's a lot to ask and I don't think we can continue anymore to be having the good people of New Jersey who have been laid off and all the rest as much as I love teachers you know everyone's got to be part of the sacrifice so, so the question I have is how do you do this in other states how do you make this politically palatable and you have a spine but but I gotta tell you a lot of other politicians don't well they better get one because the times demand it. And, and if, if what you're going to do is just play the same old game and not speak directly to people and not treat them like adults, then you are bound for failure. And, and listen, all I'm doing is say, speaking the truth as I see it. And, you know, I, I, other people have to make and their are own you, judgments. Are you not worried, though, about, about spending in your state in terms of those teachers who are actually going to be taking these cuts, what, whether they're going to be able to keep spending in the state well, and what that means to the economy? I mean, that, Andrew, first of all, they're not what, taking any cuts. I asked them to take cuts, and they said no. So what cuts are they taking? These teachers are still getting their 4 or 5% increases. That interplay that you just saw was about me trying to convince people that they need to take a freeze, but in the end, they didn't. The state teachers union said, listen, they had a rally in Trenton against me. 35,000 people came from the teachers. You know what that rally was? The me first rally. Pay me my raise first. Pay me my free health benefits first. Pay me my pension first. And everybody else in New Jersey, get to the back of the line. Well, you know what? I'm not going to sit by and allow that to go unnoticed. Mm. So we'll shine a bright light on it and we'll see how the people react. And I think we are seeing how the people in New Jersey are reacting. And that's how you make it politically palatable in other states in the country. Just shine a bright light on greed and self-interest. Oh, interesting conversation, Mary.